today's video we're going to be working on blue nose r69 iei diesel powered dump truck we drove down south and picked it up about five hours away and then we towed another truck using this here tow bar about five hours across the mountains and she did great looks like we're at the crest up here white pass so i think we're home free at this point because it's gonna be downhill and then flat from here and this was the hardest part of the trip guys we've been using that dump bed and taking in loads of weeds and stuff for the community garden in our town we use this dump bed quite a bit saves the back a little work with the weather changing it's been cold in the morning we bought this truck it had no heat or defrost so i've been driving to work like ace ventura pet detective so it's time to do some diagnostics and get this defroster's working so I can see through the windshield when it's frosty in the morning. As well as defrosting that windshield, I gotta keep myself from freezing all winter, guys. The first thing we're gonna check is down here at the fuse box. It says heater blower motor is this top one and it's supposed to be a 30 amp. There we go. And we'll check this 30 amp for here. I'm in here to my electrical drawer and get me my test light very valuable tool if you're doing any kind of electrical work guys well, i got that 30 amp fuse pulled out and you can't tell if it's blown or not because it's not see-through plastic so i'm going to give you a quick lesson in using one of these test lights you hook up one end to negative or ground and anywhere that you touch the other tip to any positive power source it's going to complete the circuit and send positive and light up that light. So let's go ahead and test this fuse and see if light lights when we touch it to the other end. And then there. Not looking like it. <laughs> so my heater issue might be just as simple as needing... A fuse I come back into my electrical drawer here and I've got this set of fuses looks like the green is a 30 amp so let's go ahead and grab one of those drop it and we'll go put it in and see if our heat comes on another way to test a fuse without pulling it with key on see if you got power on one side with the test light and then check the other side and that says that it's sending power through that fuse so it's not a blown fuse we've got chopper dog in here he's waiting to go for a ride with dad he loves going for rides in the truck got the key on put that fuse in got it on defrost and we're still getting nothing guys i was sure a bit divided on that one it would have been nice to just replace the fuse and my heat's working but that wouldn't have made a very good video and helped you guys with your diagnostics. So let's get on to the diagnostics. First off, left the key on. Turn the heat to the defrost. And I've got the switch up there on high. Now using that test light, we've got one end connected to the negative on the passenger side of the truck. Now it looks like for our blower motor, which is this guy, We've got these wires coming down to right there. I'm gonna unplug that and see if we've got power coming. So we stick in both sides and we're getting no light. That means no power is coming down these wires to turn that blower motor on. So something between the blower motor and that fuse is not sending power through. If we were getting power to this point, that would also be easy. Pull out the blower motor replace it it'd be working again but now we got to get deeper into things we know we've got power coming through the fuse now but none here so we've got a few things between this blower motor and that fuse under the dash those two things are this set of resistors and the switches on the dash that send power to this resistor this guy which is a set of resistors to adjust the fan speed so we're going to see if we've got power coming into it with our test light. I'm going to reach down here and try to unplug this 
resistor. There we go. Okay, so I've got the plug out. The plug out of the resistor. Got the test light. Let's stick the test light into the different spots. See, we're not getting power at all. What that's telling me, so that's telling me that our problem is more than likely on the dash in those switches. Okay, so I'm gonna reconnect all those wires to those resistors, but just for shits and giggles, I wanna check here again which is the leads that go to the motor and see if I'm getting power in any of them. We weren't before, but those uh, connections were pretty dirty and corroded. Uh-oh, we're getting power now, which is actually quite strange, but I'll take it. We're getting power up front. Sure as heck beats tearing apart the dash to get to the switches okay so now that we know we're getting power up here let's see if we connect our blower motor if it comes on that'd be pretty freaking cool oh come on now get in there It's definitely being difficult. Okay, so that's connected and it did not come on. So that's telling us that we're getting positive through one of these wires, but let's see if we've got negative through one of these wires rather than direct jump from the battery. So to do that, we'll use us a little jumper wire. We'll stick that jumper wire into one side we will connect that jumper wire to the negative side of our test light and then we'll go into the other side and yes we're getting power so that tells us that we're getting negative and positive through this plug so now we've deduced more than likely our blower motor here not coming on and off so old blue nose here is uh 85 86 this here is a uh, 88 or 89. Here's its blower motor, and this heater doesn't work at all either. Uh, it looks very similar, probably would work. I'm gonna go ahead and unbolt it and try it out over there. It's the same size bolts on both trucks, guys. Looks like it's 5 16 So I'm gonna get these pulled out. Get those four screws pulled out. And that whole blower motor pulls up and out of there. And then once you get it pulled out, you just gotta unclip that connector there. So what we're doing with this truck is building a race truck. It's never gonna need heat. This truck, I plan to cut off the body, leave the firewall and the floor and weld this body on it so having heat in that truck as a rat rod would probably be kind of nice a little bit of creature comfort in your rat rod isn't a bad thing guys so i'm hoping that this motor will work in blue nose but if not i know the heat in that truck worked when i bought it so we'll end up over there pulling parts instead all right so i've got that blower motor out of the race truck bring it over here Let's get it plugged in and see if it comes on. Oh yeah! So we've got a bad blower motor in this truck guys. Go ahead and shut the keys off in this truck. Just no point in uh, draining the battery and we're done with the diagnostics part so we don't need power up there right this second. So let's go ahead and get this blower motor out of the newer truck and take out the old one see if it fits first step use the ratchet and i'm going to go ahead and get this blower motor pulled out of there got the screws out the plug on this one is already out so i'm just going to kind of note its orientation and go ahead and pull it out of there Ooh, we got mouse house we're gonna have to vacuum that a little bit Hopefully that one will fit. 
So I got it orientated on there and she's a different shape guys. So we're gonna have to go and get the one off that other truck. Threw that one back in the 89 and so uh, just kind of finger tighten the screws because really I don't even care about this truck having a heater. That stuff's all getting deleted when we turn her into a race truck. But at least we don't got a giant gaping hole there inviting mice to turn it into a mouse hotel. So let's come on over here to this truck. We'll pop the hood. We'll get this blower motor pulled out. Actually, it looks pretty new. It does look a little bit like a different shape, though, and it's only got three screws. I'm wondering if trucks with air conditioning versus non-air conditioning have a different blower motor, and I might be screwed for all the ones that I've got and have to buy one. So, just as I suspected, it's a different size altogether. It definitely will not cover that hole. So there definitely is a difference between air conditioned truck and non air conditioned when it comes to blower motors. Hopefully that helps somebody out, saves them a little time. Got that reinstalled, wires reconnected to our future rat truck. I checked out Rock Auto. They've got a cheap version around 15 bucks. They got the more expensive version around 30 bucks, but then you pay 15 bucks shipping. So I ended up just getting on Amazon and 40 bucks. It, comes with the adapter plugs just in case I need them. It comes with the seal that goes around the flange to make sure that it seals good. Uh, the cheaper versions didn't come with that. So it looks like they're pretty affordable and they are readily available. But before I commit to buying one, I'm going to try knocking some sense into the old one. So something that I'm going to try, because there is a lot of gunk down in there. I'm just going to try knocking this around a little bit and getting some of that gunk out of there and maybe I can get it to work. Ooh, all that funkiness was inside there where the brush is to my motor go. Just kind of give it some taps. And, oh, there goes some more stuff. Now, we're going to go ahead and hook up some jumper wires direct to the battery and see if we can get this thing to turn on. So, we're going to do a little short one here into the negative side. We're going to do another one into the positive side. So now, we know... We've got positive and negative. And we're going to set this guy over here where you guys can see it. And we're going to put the negative to the black side here. We're going to put the positive to the orange side. Oh. Oh, yeah. So without spending money, by just cleaning that guy out, we got our blower motor working. After we wasted a bunch of time pulling blower motors out of other trucks that didn't fit. But the true test is going to be if it works plugged in to the actual wiring. When I flip the switch on the dash. So I'm going to get it plugged in here. Man, the plugs are not easy. Now it's plugged in there. I'm going to go into the truck and I'm going to flip the switch and see if it comes on. <laughs> Judging by that thing doing a burnout over to here to the side, she came on, guys. That is exciting. I didn't have to spend no money on that repair. Just do a little bit of diagnostics and clean the crap out of it. So now I'm going to go ahead and clean the crap out of down here in my heater box. So 
So I'm going to go get a extension cord and a vacuum cleaner. Pulled right over here to my waste motor oil processing shed where I'm making black diesel. If you haven't seen those videos, I got a whole series on making black diesel out of waste motor oil using a centrifuge. You should go check those out. So I got the vacuum here. I'm going to get this stuff all cleaned out. It is nasty. Oh, come on. So, if the a-hole that used this thing last would have taken the time to clean this filter, we wouldn't be in this situation. But, here we are. my vacuum a couple times now. Uh, I feel like it's just a little too small for the job, but it's what we've got. There is so much crap in those heater channels and stuff. That I'm going to go ahead and drop this plastic panel down. Try to get into the heater box from this side as well. I'm on the passenger side floorboard. So let's do that. So there's not an easy access panel from this side it's looking like in order to get in there I'm gonna have to take out the glove box and do a bit more work thanks a lot Ford for making it nice and easy I'm just gonna be honest with you guys I'm just I'm completely 100% not into this project today I need to get a more powerful vacuum before I go tearing all that stuff apart so that when I do tear it apart I can actually vacuum it out good this little guy is just barely sucking barely pulling stuff up and I feel like I'd be completely wasting my time I feel like throwing that little guy right in the trash where I got it from yep I got it out of the trash guys and I'm starting to see why somebody got pissed off enough at it to throw it away even though it works it doesn't work all that great went ahead and got that blower motor tightened up in there I'm gonna jump in the truck turn on the heat see how much crap comes out of the vents Clutch in, key on, let's glow plugger. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000, 6, 1,000. Defrost. Woo! Bit of dust. But... We've got air coming out. We will definitely not be doing the Ace Ventura move on the way to work no more due to the frosty windshield. Unfortunately, yeah, I've got it working, but only on high. The other speeds, nope. That tells me that little resistor deal is not working properly over here on the heater box but taking a look at the one on the 89 it's got a different plug different shape to it so i can't steal the parts off this guy i don't feel like even messing with that one no more I keep doing videos like this people are gonna be calling me the half-ass garage so i'm just gonna call it good i'm gonna be grateful that i don't gotta do the ace venture i can defrost my windshield and I'll just use it on high. The new resistor part is only about nine bucks, so I'll definitely be ordering it to install in the future. So unfortunately guys, this isn't gonna be a complete repair video this weekend. It's not gonna be completely fixed. I've got to order in the parts. They're not gonna be here until the middle of the week. Appreciate you guys watching. I hope that I taught you a few things about how to diagnose, how to trace a problem, how to kind of mentally figure it out with your test light, see where there's power, where there's not power, and tracing it back. So 
Appreciate you watching. Hit that subscribe button. If you want to see future content, me fixing my IDI diesel trucks. And check out the video description if you want to see more videos about these old IDIs. Some of my how-tos. I learned a few things to repair your own trucks. So until next time, believe in what God gave you guys. Take on some projects, build, fix, create. Keep building shit.